Hey guys, welcome for our next adventure. Come along with me. Another thing on a bucket list that I haven't done before. So today I am flying to Spokane, Washington. Um, I fly there semi-often just because I have a lot of family and friends there. What's different this time is the Lantern Fest. I got a pretty jam-packed full weekend. Traded off a couple days of work so I could have a four-day weekend. Um, it's four in the morning. I didn't go to bed last night. I got five hours of sleep the night before. I'm gonna need some Dr. Pepper. But um, I decided to go with this flight just because the non-stops were not looking great. So I am gonna go through probably Portland and cross off fingers. I did check a bag, which I don't usually do. And I did get a thorough pat down in my nether regions like I have the last few times I've flown. You know you're at the airport early when TSA isn't even open yet. I got a seat in the back of the plane and I was on my way to Spokane. Now I didn't record any video with a couple of friends that I did get a good amount of time to visit but I am so grateful for the chance I had to go visit them. When I got to Lantern Fest we get these little bracelets, we get little s'mores kits and a lot of people just show up like us a few hours early and just stake our claim on a spot, hang out, enjoy some music, enjoy some food, and just enjoy the beautiful, beautiful day. There was live entertainment during portions, really great performers, and also some recorded music. A lot of people took the time to decorate their lanterns. They gave you little markers with your kit. I actually got two lanterns, and most people wrote on there like wishes that they had. I decided to write on one, things to release, on the second, things to reach for. The last year and a half or so have been pretty rough for me. I went through divorce, just some family and health and other issues. So just that kind of emotional part of me wanting to release, just let it go, that symbolism there. And also, you know, what can I do to step it up in life? What are my new goals? What do I want to define myself in? become and you know all that great stuff so I really enjoyed that therapeutic part of it and just releasing it just letting it go and uh, writing it down I love that this was a great family friendly event and those are really cool balloons, by the way. Pay attention to those, you'll see them later lit up. Pretty epic. So as the night went on, as the sun started to go away, they gave us some firewood, and if you're gonna play with fire and lanterns, might as well make some s'mores. So we got to enjoy our s'mores kits. Here are those cool balloons that I mentioned. Pretty cool. I want those balloons. So there I am lighting up. This was actually my second lantern after I'd already sent off the first one, but pretty easy just to light this little cardboard chunk at the bottom, flip it over, let it heat up, let science do its thing. So we all did a big countdown and here's the magic. I'll just let you enjoy the magic. I will say, I'm going to do a whole separate video with the original music and the audio and just the long version because it is so beautiful, it is so breathtaking. 
but it's also copyright so <laughs> that's going to be on a separate video but just to give you a gist of the beauty and the grandeur of it it's just breathtaking So I had two cameras going again I'm not going to show the whole thing all in real time on this video just because that would be really long but if you are interested in watching that I'm gonna do a separate video just of the lanterns going up and also probably something on my ASMR channel just because I find it really relaxing and inspiring so uh, I sped some of this up eight times the speed in a little bit you'll see some of that but it is just amazing look at that. that's just the night sky just filled up I would have loved to see this from even miles away. That would have been pretty cool. But this is all just there on site.
after everyone was done with the lanterns, again, if we're gonna play with fire, play with fire. They had a really neat and talented fire dancer. She had some pretty cool music and uh, just enjoyed watching that. I don't think I've ever seen that anywhere up close. So I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of what her performance was as well. guys that was awesome so awesome I wasn't sure because it was kind of expensive for my budget I wasn't sure if it would be worth it if you ever get the chance it is worth it so epic and you can only catch so much on video especially with quality of camera huh? but that was awesome so I would love to go again for sure hands down making plans um, but I will say it was not without casualties. <laughs> uh, we turned around at one point, like kind of near the end, and we looked down at, we had like our blanket with some pillows and stuff. And we looked down and there's an extra lantern sitting there and we'd already sent ours off. And then we realized that that was someone else's lantern that fell back down and the fuel part was still um, like embers, like it was still hot and it was on Amanda's pillow. So. That got scorched. <laughs> Could have been worse if it had fallen on our heads or something. Smell of burning hair is not appealing. But I had a casualty a little later because I ripped my pants. I have a hole in my pants and I only have one pair of pants with me. So this girl's going pant shopping. Luckily I have a skirt. So <laughs> Anyway, it's been fun. It's been amazing. Tomorrow... I am moving to yet another house. So tonight, I'm at Amanda's. Last night, I was at Jackie's. And tomorrow night, mystery. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me on part one of this vlog of this trip. Make sure to stay tuned. I already have live the second video where I had some fun family time. And also, does she get back home in time for work? Flying standby is always an adventure. See you on my next video.